episode 140. As I do every week on the Ray Taylor Show, on Ray's Days specifically, I like to end every episode talking about something that I'm thankful for. Right? It's so easy to talk about the things that are negative in life that it's easy to identify the, the things you hate in life or you wish were better. I want to highlight as an exercise something that I'm happy about, that I'm thankful for. And in this week's episode, I am thankful for a piece of content that is a drug. It is a mood booster. It makes me feel happy. It makes me cry. It makes me emotional. It gets me in touch with, like, it, 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 is, it is a piece of content that is 100% guaranteed to put me into a very specific mood that is insane. And it's something that I haven't watched in a long time and revisited this week, this past week. And it's like, it just as if I never left and it did exactly what it used to do. And it's something that I'm thankful exists and it's insane because I am thankful for this week. I am thankful for America's got talent, the talent show competition show where people go up in front of four judges, Howie Mandel and uh, different people and blanking on the, the other judges and they do, Whatever their talent is, whether it's singing, dancing, comedy, these stunts, whatever it is, they do these things. And every time I watch this show, I will laugh, I will cry, I will be so emotionally engaged in this show like I am in no, nothing in life gets me this emotionally invested. It is 100% a thing that whatever the dopamine, serotonin release, it is a drug, this show. It is a reliable drug that I can put on and watch. It's available on Peacock. I used to watch it on Hulu. Don't know if it's still available on Hulu, but I'm watching season 17 on Peacock. I am getting choked up. I am like... Just I it, it is enthralling in a way nothing in life is to me. So much so that I am considering doing a reaction video series of me watching this. So you can see, watch me cry. So you can watch me like you can watch all of these visceral reactions I have to watching this show. And part of it is like watching people realize a dream. Watching people rise to the occasion, the immense, immense pressure these people have to have an opportunity to do this thing that is so unique to them, right? It, it's like somebody doing tricks with a hockey stick and a puck choreographed to music or a guy choreographing uh doing rubik's cubes with multiple hands while riding a unicycle juggling with one hand like just things that you would never see in your entire life existing you may never see some of the things that people do on this show so as a viewer you're seeing completely novel things that are completely unique and you never seen before and maybe you'll never see them again but you're also seeing people fulfilling a dream, right? Doing the thing that in many ways I'm trying to do. Obviously, I don't do anything performative that would uh, be fitting for a show like that. But it, it is still that desire. These people that have worked their life trying to perfect an art that they are passionate about, that the majority of humanity is not supportive of in a lot of ways, and to have an opportunity to not only display this thing that you've been working on, display your art to the world. Obviously, yeah, you're being judged. It is a show, but it's still this, this it's an opportunity. It is eyeballs. It is a moment where you can people can notice you. And even people that don't win this show are able to gain careers from it, right? Just because of the exposure you get from it. I remember back in the day when I had a day job that I hated, every morning I would wake up on my iPad and I would look at 
I would go on World Star Hip Hop every morning and I would watch fight videos and there would always be clips of this show. So I had seen clips of these people like rising to, and it always make me cry and get me emotional. And I, I would love to start my day seeing one of those clips. And I'd never watched the show till many years later saw it on hulu and it's like let's check out this show i've only seen clips of i d- i don't like the idea of judges whatever simon cowell actually kind of like agree with simon cowell most of the time he's brutally honest really hard on singers for sure but like i i i don't think he's i, I think he's he gets a lot of undue hate for just being brutally honest a lot of the times but watching the show it's just like oh my god and just getting emotional watching people succeed at doing things that I've never seen done before. Just amazing. It is amazing. I absolutely love this show. And it's something that without fail will just completely have absolute control over my emotions. Like nothing in life. And in a positive way. So I, I'm really thinking I might do reaction videos whether those are released to Inspired Disorder Plus members exclusively or released to the general public, who knows? I haven't recorded them, but I thought of that last night because as I'm crying, I'm like, I should be doing re- – because this is the only thing I'm really viscerally re- reacting to versus anything else I watch. Like every movie I watch, TV show I watch, I'm not – most of the time, I'm not reacting. I'm just watching a thing. It is not entertaining to watch me watch something i've tried it's not i it feels performative when i'm doing anything for a reaction video but doing this i can't help it i can't help it it gets it it's it gets to me in a way nothing else does so and what i saw last week which is in last week last night was insane that it's like between breaks in breaks during production of the show they have like a, a warm up guy in the crowd, like every live every TV show does, right? They have warm up guys, and they go out and they, you know, a lot of them they're funny. And this one, the guy goes through and just asks if there's anybody in the crowd that wants to sing, right? If you're in the audience for the show, hey, you want to sing? You good singer? Hey, try singing. And he gives the microphone to this little girl one one in this one episode, and she belts out "Amazing Grace." Right. And Simon Cowell's walking back in from backstage and he hears this thing. He's like, what the hell? And everybody's like looking and there's like, oh, my God, it's that little girl. Right. Unplanned, not part of the audition, just somebody who her dad takes her to watch this show. She's come and watch auditions before. Right. They live in the area. He brings her there. And it's a dream to one day audition for this thing. She belts out Amazing Grace just on her own. No backing music or whatever. And blows the judges away. And they're like, they talk to her and they're like, hey, do you want to go on stage? You want to just do an audition right now? So just from the audience, given the mic randomly, right? Oh, I'll sing. Belts it out. Then she gets put on stage. Sings it again. I'm like getting emotional just thinking about. She gets on stage. Just little girl, sweet little girl talking about her dad survives like cancer. Right. He's been fighting cancer for nine years. And if she were to win the million dollars, she would use it to help him. Right. Do cancer research because he's been struggling with cancer his whole life for nine years. What her whole life. And immense pressure. She's on this giant empty stage for people that she knows she loves this show. These judges watching her, judging her, a complete like thousands of people in the crowd watching her. She didn't show up thinking she was going to be on stage. All she has is a microphone in her voice and she sings Amazing Grace again, even better than she was singing it in the crowd. And I'm crying. I'm like just like holding myself shivering i'm like halfway between smiling and laughing and like just just wanting to burst out in tears i am like the most visceral i'm like dying inside in like the best way it's like my body is like rejecting my heart for like coming to life 
and of course she like does great you know sings it beautifully she brings her dad up on stage and he's like yeah she actually used to while i was getting my chemo treatment she would sing to me to distract me from my chemo treatments it's like what is this show what is this fucking show and there's this thing they do on this show right which the fact that she gets pulled out of the audience on this stage no plan to audition her i'm sure the crew after this had to rush her back and sign a bunch of paperwork right a bunch of releases there's this thing on this show where any of the judges or even uh terry cruz who's like the host on stage host can do a thing to automatically fast forward somebody to the final round right instead of going through all the different levels of this competition semifinals finals all that kind of stuff automatically goes to the finals right and you have this girl who was an audience member minutes ago just sang her heart out making me fucking cry like a goddamn idiot hearing this insane backstory and i don't even remember who it was i don't know if it was howie mandel or if it was terry cruz maybe it was howie mandel motherfucker puts the hits the golden buzzer right you hit the golden buzzer they go automatically to it's like instant tears when they hit the magic buzzer right the video screens on stage go gold gold confetti falls down from the sky i mean it's the background for reasons this isn't the girl this is last season i think but it's an emotional moment when they hit the buzzer and when they did it in this show i was like what the fuck is going on the show is destroying the fuck out of me with all this goddamn heart and love and joy and dream fulfillment amazing so this week fucking thankful as shit for america's got talent a stupid reality competition show a talent show but it's amazing it's amazing i absolutely love it and i'm gonna watch it when i go to edit tonight i'm like looking forward to it and it's something that distracts me like i got so distracted yesterday in my prep for this show for this week's shows that i barely got done at midnight i wanted to go to sleep early i wanted to go to sleep by 10 at the latest i didn't get to sleep till one one in the morning because I still had to watch Pinocchio, because I'm watching this goddamn show that makes me feel like a human being. Makes me cry and happy, and what the fuck. So I'm thankful for America's Got Talent. That's it for this episode. If you haven't watched that show, watch it. Watch it. It's, it's amazingly good. I don't, know, I, I don't know what to tell you. I love it. I love it. And I'm thankful that I restarted watching it again. I don't know what, why I stopped. Well, this a season, a season probably ended, and then I was busy when the new season came out. I just didn't do it. But, you know, maybe the next season is supposed to be the summer of 2023, so I don't know. I, I mean, I'll have to wait. If I'm going to do reaction video, unless I go back to an old season, maybe I'll go back to an old season that I haven't seen yet and then do that. But anyway, that's been my week. I hope everybody's been having a great week. Take care. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.